when you store information in your computer, you essentially every image, everything you have on your computer, it's really just a, zero, a series of like zeros and ones, right? And when you have DNA, a DNA molecule, you can think of it as a, as a bunch of letters like A, C, G, and T. And so what we do when we store information in DNA is that we take our zeros and ones and we somehow translate them to A's and C's and G's and T's. For example, we say zero, zero is an A, okay? Yep. And so you can, that's the encoding. You take digital information and you write it in terms of ACs and of DNA bases. And then comes the next thing, which is that you actually have to make the DNA, right? So you can synthesize DNA chemically and we just take the words that we wrote in, in A's and C's, etc., make the DNA, and we have a test tube with all this information in there, all, this, all these molecules in there. And then eventually we read it back, which is called sequencing, and you know, back out comes the information that we stored. Unbelievable. So what you're trying to do is develop a DNA-based storage system that, I, I guess... You know, I mean, we need to store the world's information, you know, to be able to archive it and retrieve it. But in DNA, I mean, I, and I can see here that it's funded by Microsoft Research, the National Science Foundation, and David Notkin Endowed Graduate Fellowship. I mean, you guys have got some powerhouses behind you. So <laughs> how's it going? I mean, you, you've done it. You're doing it. Is it going to save us a lot of money in the long run? I mean, and what happens if somebody drops one of those test tubes? <laughs> it's all lost. <laughs> I mean, I'm being funny, but walk us forward. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we are doing it. It's not done. Right. Um, I think, the, you know, the reason to do it is kind of, there's three reasons why DNA is great, right? DNA is really, really small. And if you have lots of information, then you want to, you know, try to store it as densely as possible. So, for example... In theory, you could store all the information in a huge data center into a single, you know, cube of DNA that's maybe the size of a sugar cube. Oh, my gosh, that's right? really, really dense. That's number one. And then the second thing that's interesting about DNA is it's kind of stable. Like, it can, under the right conditions, it really stays along for a long, around for a long time. So people have found or sequenced DNA that comes from, like, fossils that are hundreds of thousands of years. Right, right. And that'd be cool, right? Because now if you work with magnetic tape or pretty much any other, your hard drive, anything like that, within a few years, it will essentially, you'll have to, you know, back it up again.